How to use stable diffusion online? Yes, it is a big problem because most of the people have no access to the high-end GPU and if you are a beginner and trying to learn the stable diffusion interfaces like the automatic 1111, focus, comfy UI, face fusion, invoke AI, you really need to invest in a high-end GPU. But what if I tell you that you guys can use automatic 1111, comfy UI and other stable diffusion based applications online for free? It's exciting, right? Let me show you how. So for that, we're gonna use Mimic PC. So Mimic PC is a platform that allows you to run all of these stable diffusion based applications online. It includes Focus, Automatic 1111, Comfy UI and here is the list of models that you guys can run on this platform. And what is most exciting is that Mimic PC's Comfy UI even support Stable Diffusion 3 which is a great thing. Now to access this AI you have to click on this free launch and you will be redirected to this page. And here you guys can see we have a list of models and we have the focus AI, we have chatbot models like Olama and face fusion, uh, comfy UI, invoke AI and even automatic 1111 forge. And on the left side you guys can see we have some free credits and free space that I'm gonna explain later in the video. But first of all, let's try one of the models like automatic 1111. So simply click on get started and make sure to select the latest version of this automatic 1111. And then we have the option to select this session time and uh, by default this is 30 minutes and you can also extend this according to your need. So once it's done, simply click on this create and start. And this will start loading all of the required data. So this process can take about 30 seconds to 2 minutes. So you have to wait for it. Okay, so now you guys can see we have the automatic 1111 interface in front of us. And you can see we have all of the features in it like text to image, image to image. Then we have the checkpoints and settings extensions and here you guys can do each and everything that you can do on your local computer now let's try generating some image like a cat wearing a hat realistic and hit generate so i'm not gonna fast forward this video so we have to wait for the results so here is the output image and you guys can see how quick it actually is well uh, this is not a realistic image this is uh, just like the illustration and this is because of the model so i'm also going to tell you how you guys can download and install new models in it and right now you can see we have two models sdxl base model and sdxl refiner model so we're gonna install new model in it and for that you have to click on this extensions and now scroll down and enable the stable diffusion web ui cvti helper and now apply and quit so if you face this error simply click on the relaunch button and this will reload the interface okay so now you guys can see we have this civet ai helper option here now click on that and simply scroll down and go to the get model info from civet ai by url well on the right side you can also see we have some folders and files and if you find this distracting you can click on this icon and you will have a complete screen in front of you now to install a new model you need a civet ai url so simply go ahead to the civet ai and in the search bar simply search for the model that you want to install so let's say realism engine sdxl and then you will have all of the information about the model but we only need the url so simply copy the url of the model and again get back to the mimic pc and you need to paste the url inside of the download model section so simply paste the url and hit get model info from cvti url and now this will start gathering all of the information and as you can see it loaded all of the images from the model and all of the necessary information the model name model version and uh, model type all of the information now to download this model you have to click on this download model and this will start downloading this model okay so our model is 100 percent downloaded now you need to go to the text to image section and simply refresh your model and here we have realism engine sdxl model now let's try any prompt like a close-up of a beautiful woman on a city street daytime natural lighting realistic and in the negative prompt i'm gonna type bad anatomy blur and low quality and if i scroll down we have some advanced settings so you can also play around with the number of sampling steps so let's keep it around 40 then you can change the sampling method so we have a list of sampling methods so i'm gonna go with the default one then you can also select the number of images so let's keep it around two and you have the seed number options and if i click on the extra you can see 
we have some more options here so let's hit generate and let's see what it comes up with so here are the output results and the realism model works really really good we have some issues uh, one half of the person is not visible in the image this is only because of the aspect ratio we can fix this thing by just changing the aspect ratio but you need to focus on the image generation and in this case it's working really really good so in the same way you can try different models like juggernaut excel and a lot of other realistic models inside of this table diffusion so this one is just a quick demo of these interfaces but you can also try the other interfaces like comfy ui invoke ai face fusion it all depends on you you have a complete flexibility so in the free plan it gives you one hour for free and if you want to add more hours the standard rate is 0.5 dollars but if you want to use the high-end gpus this will cost you one dollar but if you purchase their lifetime subscription this will only cost you 49 dollars and in bonus you will get free hours of 10 dollars per month and uh, if you want to get more free hours you can even look at their other lifetime subscription plans so if you want to learn the stable diffusion and if you don't want to spend any money on a high-end gpu you can try this ai tool and that's it from today i hope you guys learned something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one